Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing one of the most highly requested videos here on my channel. It is my makeup collection video, as you can tell by the title. I just want to say before getting started that I am in no way trying to brag whatsoever by showing you the amount of makeup that I have. Please keep in mind that this is my profession. I am a makeup artist, and some of these things like brushes and eyeshadows I have owned for seven to eight years, so this is definitely a long process of accumulating different makeup. Also, a lot of the MAC products that you're gonna be seeing, I did get for free because I worked for the company for four years. So yes, with that being said, I'm super excited to do this video for you guys and I hope you enjoy. Let's go. So this is the overview of my makeup section. This desk right here is where I sit and do my makeup on a daily basis. So all of my products that I use on a daily, weekly basis are all in that desk right there. And then this dresser over here to the left, this is where I keep stuff that I still love, still use, but not every single day because I just keep everything here that are like my favorites or my most recently purchased things, things that I'm loving right now for the season. And as for the desk itself, I get so many questions about it and it actually is an antique piece. I restored it myself, I sanded it down and painted it an off-white color and then I repaired the drawers and then went out and got new hardware, which I believe the hardware is from Lowe's that I put on. Um, it was only $40 when I got it, like out of the back of someone's garage. It was supposed to be temporary, you know, and then two years later. So my lamp right here, this is from Home Goods. My mirror is so old, I can't even honestly tell you where it's from. Um, I like it though because it's super short. I have like a prettier, taller one that my husband got me, but I don't use it because it doesn't work when I'm filming. It's too tall over the camera. So I use that one right there. I have no idea where it was. I'm sure it was cheap. I've owned it for like five years. And then my brushes, these are my day-to-day -day brushes right here. These are my personal brushes I only use for myself and not on any clients in my freelance kit. So I have three different containers and these containers are from the container store. Um, they're little like tin jars and when I got them, they were a white, like creamy, I don't know, kind of like a yellowy beigey color. So I just spray painted them a metallic silver. Um, I have three different bins which is very excessive and not you don't need that many brushes but I have two face areas and then I have this one which is eyes and then some overflow face most of these are Sigma and I think I have like this is Sedona lace this is real techniques for the most part they're all Sigma brushes though to the left of my mirror, I have my Muji 5 drawer acrylic case. This is where I keep things that I absolutely love. Normally it's products that I just recently purchased and I can't get enough of. Things change in here on, I would say like a bi-weekly basis. I'll take something else and be like, oh, I like this better and I'll exchange it from here to the desk. Um, right next to it, I just have a lip bag. This was just sitting here from earlier today. It's from Victoria's Secret. And I just have like my favorite perfumes as roller balls and then just my favorite lip products that I always have with me wherever I go anywhere. That's just sitting there on my desk. Normally this is in my purse though. Um, so right here on top, I have just things that I use all the time. So I have my Josie Maron 100% Pure Argan Oil with Radiance. And then I also have the Soleil Tan de Chenene. This is the Universal Cream Bronzer. I keep this here to remind myself to use it because I love it so much, but I will tend to forget that I own it for some reason. And I always just grab my powder bronzer, so I keep it there to remind myself. This is my lipstick holder. It holds 25 lipsticks. It is from the Container Store. Again, this is acrylic. And in the front, I have my more high-end type lipsticks. These are Yves Saint Laurent, um, Lime Crime, Chanel, Bare Minerals, and Urban Decay. The front two rows are all neutral, pretty much neutral, pinks, roses, and then the back row are like bright reds, intense violets, fuchsias, that type of thing. So in my first drawer here, I have all of my favorite highlighting products. I have my NARS Albatross Josie Maron Argon Illuminating Powder, Dior Amber Diamond, the Stila Duo, Mary Luminizer by The Balm, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and then a Victoria's Secret one. So like I said, these are just kind of in there for now, and then when I purchase a new highlighter, it will come and go. Like the Josie Maron, that just made its way in there yesterday, and a different one we said goodbye to for a little while. Second drawer are my blushes. So in here I have a new Marc Jacobs blush, which I thought was amazing because it's called Obsessed. And if you know me, you know that's like my most used outworn word. And then I have a Tarte Amazonian Clay blush. These are all MAC. They're all pretty much limited edition except Sun Basque. And then this is Milani Luminesso blush. 
Okay, third drawer are my bronzers. So I have three bronzers that are shimmery and then three bronzers that I use to contour with. Um, I have the NARS Laguna, which is just a typical, everyone knows that bronzer. And then I have Hula Bronzer by Benefit, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, Bobbi Brown and Golden Light, Bobbi Brown and Bronze. This one is like a super, super bronze color. And then Betty Luminizer by The Balm again, which is another super bronzy color. For the next drawer, I have my lip products. So as you can see, I love, love, love my lip products. Um, and here I have the new Marc Jacobs lipstick. This is in Moody Margot. Then I have two NYX Butter Glosses, a Yves Saint Laurent lip stain. This is Blankety and Gaga. Yes, this is the original MAC Lady Gaga because I bought so many when it came out that I'm on my last one. Two Rimmel lipsticks, L'Oreal I Pink You're Cute. This is Bobbi Brown Pink Bikini. I love this shade, it's such a pretty pink. And then I have um, Urban Decay, what is this? Anarchy, which is a super bright purpley pink that I was wearing in a couple videos ago. And then Makeup Geek Adorable. Yes, that's the name of the lipstick. I'm not just saying it's adorable. Then a new Hourglass nude lip color just came out a couple days ago. I love this. Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian. And then we have Lime Crime Velveteen in the red. Um, Revlon Bellini Gloss. And then three Chroma Beauty Lip Crayons. And then four of my favorite Obsessive co Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tars. I love these lip tars. Love them. You can see that I definitely am fond of those pinky corally shades. We have everything in here. We have the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, Amazing Cosmetics Concealer, Benefit Fake Up Concealer, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, Dark Tone um, Eyelash Glue, Scissors, Naked Basics Palette, Favorite Gel Eyeliner by Maybelline. Then I have my mascaras. I have Too Faced Better Than Sex, L'Oreal Voluminous, Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, um, Rimmel Lash Accelerator, and then Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. Then I have the Anastasia Brow Gel, Clear Brow Gel, best brow gel I've ever used. I have the Balm Schwing, amazing, amazing liquid liner. And then over here, I just have a black liner, a um, neutral tone liner for the waterline, and then the Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown. Oh, and then I also back here have MAC Boot Black Liner. I just use that for like quick touch-ups. Okay, on to the main part of the desk. You can see that when I open up the drawers, the original wood is here. You can see how like that color looks, and you can also see the paint strokes of when I was painting it white. So let's just get this open all the way so that the camera can see. Can you see? Can you see? I think you can see. Okay. So in here, this is where I just keep my eyeshadow palettes, the ones that I use the most often. Right on top is my Makeup Geek one. This is the palette that I use the most more than anything else. Underneath of it, I have my MAC palettes, um, my reddish palette, my brown palette, purple palette, neutral palette, and then another Z palette with more Makeup Geek shadows at the bottom, which is full of like super colorful eyeshadows. Over here on the side, we have EOS Lip Balm, Nivea Lip Balm, Lush Lip Balm, just moisturizers for the lips. That way I can moisturize my lips while I'm getting ready. Down here, I also have Roto's eye drops. If you guys have not heard of Roto's, they're the most intense, amazing eye drops ever. My entire family, we all have really red eyes, and this is the only eye drops that actually gets rid of the redness. Back here, I have two Urban Decay Moonshine. Is that what these are? Moonshine eyeshadows? Um, I have two colors in there, and then I have a limited edition MAC shadow back here. This is in a blaze. Um, the Balm Pigment, a bunch of Makeup Geek pigments, NARS Chelsea Girl Lips, Lip, um, whatever it is, it's a lip product. Um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot, another Makeup Geek pigment, Urban Decay glitters in here, Steal a Kitten Eye Base, Steal a Kitten Eye Shadow. Um, we have a Bare Minerals Well Rested Setting Powder back there for under the eye area, and then a Josie Maron lip and cheek stain. And then in here we have Kevin Aquan Candlelight along with, this is just a highlighter, and along with an eyelash curler and then the very end of my Bare Naked Wipes by Josie Maron. In the second drawer here, I have my MAC Double Palette, which is full of different colors of blush, highlighters, and that sort of thing. And then I have my Lorac Unzipped Palette, which is pretty new, um, and just two more MAC palettes in there with other shades I don't have up here. Then I have things that I re recently purchased right here. I have the Tarte Full Coverage Powder Foundation, a Laura Mercier product in Illamasqua, 
And then two Bare Minerals products. I've been trying Bare Minerals recently. Over here, I have an assortment of things. This is the new Marc Jacobs bronzer. It's Gigantor. It's insane. The mirror is like large and in charge. It's huge. And it's the only place it would fit and I love it so far. Um, over here, I have all sorts of stuff. I have the Josie Maron Liquid Illuminizer, um, L'Oreal Lift Blush. I have a... Uh, Bobbi Brown, Shimmer Brick, and then I just have beauty powders, tons of old ones. This is super old. This is Shell Pearl from back in the day from MAC, Hard Candy Tiki. Um, I have a NARS blush. I have another NARS blush. I have Orgasm. I have Gilda. Then I have the Hourglass Ambient Powder right there and some mineralized skin finishes up in here. Over on the right-hand side of my desk, I have my foundation drawer. So, my foundation drawer, all the bottles are standing up. So these are all my favorite foundations that I use on a daily basis. The ones in the packaging, like I've told you guys before, I keep stuff in the packaging for quite a while, a couple of weeks. So this stuff is my, these are my newer foundations. So I have all my foundations in here. I have YSL, Laura Mercier, MAC, another YSL, um, Make It Forever, NARS, L'Oreal, and another Laura Mercier, right? No, that's Giorgio Armani, Neutrogena, Revlon, BB cream back there, and then all of my concealers are right here in the front area. I have two Tarte concealers, um, a Maybelline Fit Me concealer, Kat Von D, Revlon, and then a Bobbi Brown. And then over here I have two that won't fit. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and this is the Josie Maron Argon. Um, Tinted Moisturizer. These won't fit over in this area, so I just put them over there. And then this section over to the right is the primers. So I have the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion. I have some Benefit, and then the rest is all MAC stuff and um, L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This drawer right here is super simple. The left side is all samples, other than the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I just didn't have room for it anywhere. Um, but this entire thing right here is all samples that I've gotten like from Sephora, gifts with purchases, um, stuff like that. And then all of this, this is all lip liners right here on the bottom and lip glosses up here. So down here, all these lip liners, whew, these are mostly MAC, NYX, and Urban Decay because that's what I buy the most often. And then up at the top, we have lip glosses over to the side here i have all my setting sprays i have two fix pluses um the urban decay chill setting spray and then the nyx dewy finish setting spray and then right here i have brush cleaner and the um beauty blender cleaner very very bottom is just nothing but a few lashes these are the personal lashes that I use for myself. So just a couple of House of Lashes lashes. Well, that's interesting. Um, I did purchase those myself. They were not sent to me. And then Velour lashes. Over onto this section right here, this is the Alex set of drawers. These are from Ikea. Everybody and their mother has them at this point. I will link them down below for those of you who are interested. And up here, I just have a burning candle and my perfume and then my little jewelry dress form. This is the jewelry that I wear, once again, on a daily basis. So in my first drawer, you guys won't be surprised, I have more lip products. On the left-hand side, I have all my lipsticks and on the right-hand side, I have all of my lip glosses or more moisturizing things etc you want to play is that what this is about I'm sorry chroma beauty Maybelline L'Oreal Revlon a lot a lot of Mac just all miscellaneous things this is Riri Rue by, by Mac um, Rihanna's lipstick I just have a second of it I accidentally ordered two and I didn't mean to so I was a little surprised when it showed up and here on the left, we have lip glosses or lip balms, anything moisturizing. I know this doesn't seem super organized, but in my mind, I know what I own. So when I open up this drawer, I'm opening it for a certain color. So I know it's in here. Second drawer, we have more foundations. And these are in here for either they're too light for me, too dark for me, or they just stopped working with my skin, or maybe they broke me out, or maybe I don't like the texture right now. But they're sitting in here because I'm not like officially I hate you, but I'm not crazy about it at the moment. Right here in the middle are the rest of my concealers. I have L'Oreal Magic Lumi, the Balm, two Garnier's, two Select Cover Up by MAC, a L'Oreal, um, Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer, and then Studio Sculpt by MAC. 
And then right here, I have all of my mascaras and brow products. Not all my brow products, but some of them. And then I have mascaras that either have not been opened or have been opened recently since they're in here. Obviously, if they're old, I would throw them away. It's just a waste of space. All right, right here, I have the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. I love this product. It's awesome. I have Smart Brow in the back, and then I have an Anastasia. Woo! Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius Kit right there. Those are just stuck on the side. This drawer is nothing but eyeshadows. I have all my eyeshadows over here. Most of them are not just normal eyeshadows. Most of them are pro longwear eyeshadows or mineralized eyeshadows or something along that line, limited edition eyeshadows. So I have those all over here. Um, I have a few Sigma ones in here that I really enjoy. And then right here I have all of my MAC quads. So you can see I've got two in here that are totally old school before they came out their new packaging. Um, the ones that say not for sale on the front, if you can see that, that means that it's Mac gratis. So as an employee, that's what that means. So a lot of times if you try to like back to Mac something that says not for sale on it, they won't let you. Um, another Mac palette. And then in the very back, we just have three Urban Decay primer potions as primers. And then over on the side, we have Sigma's Awesome Eyeliners. I haven't shown these before, but they're really great. These are all the eyeliners over here. And then I have a little... Sigma shadow sitting right there just hanging out. Oh, I didn't even mention that I have my drugstore shadows in here as well I have them all stacked up Maybelline shadows. This drawer is a little bit random I have my mineralized skin finishes in here all different colors just for contouring bronzing highlighting or whatever I need and then back here. I have my um, Ben Nye cameo luxury powder just like the banana powder, but it's just a pink undertone. And then over here I have cream color bases. And then over here I have more. I have bronzers in the front and they stop right here. And then I have beauty powders from MAC back here. So like this one right here, this is a beauty powder. I don't remember what collection this is from, um, but it did have special packaging. But when you get um, the gratis, the free products as an employee at MAC, you don't get the packaging, you only get the product. So kind of strange how that works. London collection, I don't even remember what it was called. Something London, but that was four years ago. So you can see how old some of this stuff is. And then this right here, this is Billionaire Bronze. This is a cream stick bronzer by MAC. And then this is the Tarte bronzer in Hotel Harris. And I am not a fan of that bronzer on myself at all. So that's just needs to be put in my freelance kit. And then back here, I have my palette. So I have my Naked, my Naked 2. I have the Too Faced Neutral Eye, the Smoked Palette, the Lorac Palette, the Balm Nude Tude, Balm um, Matte Tude, Urban Decay Emergency, Urban Decay, I forgot what that's called, and then Sigma Resort. I love Sigma Resort. This drawer, our main attraction are all of the blushes. Every single one of these are MAC blushes, so you can see that I definitely, I have an obsession with blush and with MAC blush. Over to the left here, we have all eyebrow products. We have Sigma brow products and Anastasia brow products all hanging out over here. A couple of these things are backups that I use all the time, and once I run out, I will have them right here, which is amazing. And then I have an Anastasia brow kit here. I have a highlighting powder from MAC here. This is the Honey Rose. It's the one that's like a high percentage of water, so it feels wet on your skin. I have balm blushes and then I have Mac luster drops and benefit high beam back here in the wee back this is a little intense this right here is I call it my glitter drawer even though it's not all glitter to me it's the glitter drawer so right here are all my glitters these are glitter pigments glitter glue by Too Faced um, makeup forever makeup forever and then these are pressed pigments by Mac glitter. I love glitter. So that's my glitter right there. These right here are my pigments. This one is newer. So all of these right here are MAC pigments. I also have some MAC pigments back here, but these are Reflex from Holiday. So they do have glitter in them. Over here are my paint pots from MAC. All different colors. And then I have my shade sticks over here. I have the paint. I have the balm put a lid on it. Eyeshadow primer. And then over here I have more pigments from Makeup Geek. Love these pigments, more primers, different colors. These are the crushed metal pigments that you see here and here and also here and here. In the very back I have eyeliners 
that I just don't grab every single day, like silver eyeliners and purple eyeliners and stuff like that. The store is a little overwhelming, but it's actually my favorite. Okay, Whew. again, ready? So these are my freelance brushes. Most of these of what you're looking at it are Sigma brushes. I have a few, like this is Crown right here. Um, I have like one set from Sedona Lace. So yes, you can see this is, it's very, very deep. It goes down to the very bottom. It's all just brushes. They're actually all clean right now. I've just been lazy and prolonging putting them in the brush kit and making them look pretty because I don't have a freelance job for a whole week, so. That's right there. And then in here, this is just kind of miscellaneous. I have a few other lashes just hanging out right now. Just in case I need more of my freelance kit, I'll grab a few here. These are Sigma bases. This is eyeshadow base kit, bare, dare, that kind of thing. Right here, these are products that I have tried and I don't like, so I will give them away to people who will like them that I know. And then in the back, I have some more palettes, BH Cosmetics palettes blush palettes, eye palettes, that kind of thing. And then last but not least, this drawer is freelance drawer. So this is the drawer that I go in if I'm going to a job that I typically need something else that's not already in my kit, other than the dial a smile, disregard that. I have all my foundations, moisturizers, primers, anything you can think of in this drawer. So this is just basically stuff that I'm never gonna need for myself because it's not my color or not my thing like oil control lotion blotting powders things like that so I come in here if I'm ever going on a job and I'm thinking oh wait I don't have that in my kit I come dig in this drawer right here so yeah that is it for my entire makeup collection that I personally use so I really hope you guys enjoy this video oh my back hurts and I will see you soon bye guys <laughs>